Hey guys, Bonnie Donahue here, and we are back for week two. Hey guys, welcome. I'm going to have a lot of people getting on, especially a few minutes late. I had the wrong Zoom link. My other one expired, so I had to quickly start a new one. I am so excited to talk about today's topic. Today is talking all about sharing doTERRA, okay? The hosting overview. Hey guys, if your video's on, I can see you, which is awesome. Um, Amanda, I know you just got on. Can you let me know if you can hear and see me okay in the chat? That would be great. Um, I muted everybody else, but I'm going to be on and I can answer. I can open it up to questions at the end. But anyway, so today we're talking about the share, okay? Next week is build and then launch. And I just like love those topics also. Um, and then last week we talked about living doTERRA, like the lifestyle overview. So most people, like 80 to 90% of people in doTERRA, they are just happy customers. They're happy, you know, users of the products. And a lot of the times it comes very slowly for them to, oh, thanks, Carrie. It's sometimes a slow transition into the business. And most people are natural sharers, right? And sometimes that's as far as they get. And I, I was talking to some other leaders in doTERRA, and majority of their business is made up of shares, right? So people who are um, either doing the business very part-time, they want to earn free product, they want to um, maybe make it a couple extra hundred dollars a month, something like that. Or they, they are trying to do the business or thinking they're doing the business, but they don't actually do what it takes. So they're, they're more in the sharing than actually a building, whether they know it or not. That's just the reality of it. Okay, um, and so that's why this share is like one of the most important things to talk about. It's one of the most important things to make sure our customers, shares, or builders know and understand before we could move forward. Okay, and I will be like 100% honest that when I started, I didn't even like look at this guide because <laughs> I didn't consider myself a share, I considered myself a builder. I probably went right to the launch guide. And I also, sometimes in my head, I assume other people want to do that. When they say they want to do the business with me, I'm assuming we're going full force and they want to do the business. But that's actually not the case. A lot of times, someone doing the business, they're perfectly happy with, with doing a couple classes, getting a couple customers, and then just like maintaining that. They're, they're getting their product free. That They're like, that's way more than they would have done before. So they're happy with that. So we always have to meet people where they are where I'm like, I need to do all this stuff, and I need to go in the ranks and everything, but that's an extreme. Okay, so uh, we're just taking, we'll, we'll get to the building and the launch, like I said, the next weeks, and uh, I'm gonna really try to like tone it down, and this would be more like the soft launch, and this is probably where most people will be. Okay, and so I apologize if I didn't talk about it a ton in, in the beginning, um, but, the way we're learning more about doTERRA and the way doTERRA works, it's they're very unique where, like I said, most people are just happy users. And that's not always the case in other companies um, because a lot of times people go right into the business and they talk about the business. And, um, and with doTERRA, it's a lot of product focus, which is awesome because people will, that, that shows that people will and are using the product whether they get paid or not. They're just going to love the product, right? Um, but it is our job, let me move this a little bit, just to help them to know that they, yes, can earn free product. They can make, um, you know, a small income or totally uh, get in complete freedom, financially, time freedom, you know, financial freedom and true wealth. So, again, there's anywhere in between. So, again, why share doTERRA? One, we're empowering our friends. Um, to get healthier and also to have that ripple effect on all of their friends. Okay, so I think that's huge. Um, they can earn free product, which I don't know about you, but I love free. I love it. And I love um, especially free oils. Okay, so they could get free things for that. They can earn their power of three, their commissions. I really, if someone doesn't want to do this, if someone doesn't want to do the business, I have a hard time understanding why, because I just think it's such a no-brainer. You love something, you're gonna share it anyway, so you might as well get paid, right? So especially, like I'm always on Facebook, right? And I see a lot of people on Facebook, they're always talking about what clothes they're wearing, what restaurants they're going to, what movies, 
uh, what hotels they're staying at, what Disney cruises they're taking or whatever, all these different things. Um, they're always talking about it, like what um, shoes they're wearing, what computer they're buying, whatever. Um, we're doing the same thing and now we're just obviously getting paid for that. So, um, and then create true income, right? So you can turn this into a, um, you know, replacing what you're making. You can supplement, replace what you're making, what you're making, you can have a, a six figure income, multiple six figure income, all the way to a six figure income a month, right? And so there's all in between, okay? Um, that's why I like to share doTERRA because if we do not share that with them, um, they don't know what it's even available, okay? There's been so many people that have joined doTERRA and they don't even know there's a business, they don't know it's like a network marketing company. Right, one we do such a great job of it. There's there's zero feeling of, um, I don't know. Maybe some people have negative, of, you know, feelings about this, about network marketing. But people don't feel that in DoTerra. They don't even know, right? So it truly is a sharing business. Okay, um, okay. I'm just literally following the sheet again. If, if you guys don't have this, if you go, if you just Google DoTerra empowered success, all of the PDFs pop up. You can download them for free, print them out, or you can buy them. Okay. Um, it's all there for you. So I'm just following the sheet. This is how simple it is. This is what I love about doTERRA. We don't have to think of anything. And when you're getting started with someone, you can share this with them, or you can share them this recording with them or both. Right. So it's just so simple. So um, the first thing you're going to do is one, a lot of times when people get started when, when they're doing a class is they make a list. Okay. And I don't care who you are or what business you're in. When you start any business, you have to have a list of people. I know when you get like a loan to start a restaurant or something, you, just to get that loan, they ask you, who are your resources? You know, and those are all the people, right, that they are going to um, partner with. They're going to send out flyers to. They're going to come to their opening night. We are the same way. When we treat our business like a business, and I know you've heard this a hundred times, we get paid like a business, right? And one thing that I heard that was really good, is if, if your friends are not taking you seriously with your business, it's probably because you're not taking yourself seriously. So if you want to start acting like a business owner we have to uh, you know do the things business owners do and, and they write down a list okay we have here 20 names okay they should have you or you know if I'm talking to you if you're just getting started or if you're working with a team they should have 20 names filled in before they even do their first class honestly um, everybody knows 20 people and if they don't it's just because they haven't thought of it yet we have hundreds of friends on Instagram, hundreds of friends on Facebook. Go to your contacts. Go to, you know, think about your school friends, your um, the kids' school friends. There's a ton of people, and I and I've talked to so many women that they're like, I don't know anyone. And then they a couple days will go by, and their friends are texting them, and they're getting invited to different things. So like, oh my gosh, I actually know way more people than I thought, and it's because they just weren't taking the time to sit down and write their name. Okay, so you write your 20 friends, okay, and that's your first step. You don't have to pre-qualify them. You don't have to, like, start telling yourself, you know, this person has anxiety or this person needs to lose weight. You don't have to do any of that kind of stuff, okay? Um, all you're doing is you write, that, write their name down, and, and then maybe based on how you know that friend, would a one-on-one -on -one work better with them or a class setting, okay? It's very simple. At this point, you're just writing it down, okay? And you know your friends, and you know the best way to communicate with them. All right, three steps to invite. We're going to keep this super simple, okay? Uh, the first thing is you share an experience, right? So we talked about last, I think it was last week, we talked about really diving deep into knowing the products and using the products and being the product of the product. If you do not use the product, don't try sharing the products. <laughs> That's easy, right? When you are using the products and when you know how to use them and when you're feeling good, you're getting results, that makes sharing and inviting like so easy, right? 
uh, because you're using it. It's really hard to sell something that you're not using or you don't believe it. So if you're stuck right there that you don't have an experience yet, you need to like go back to the live guide and start using all the products. You need to open your essential life book and start making roller bottles. You need to start uh, diffusing and just breathing them in. I like to put uh, oils right on my hands and just breathe it in. So they have uh, bergamot there as an example. Literally my whole house is diffusing bergamot right now because it's the oil that just makes you feel so good and self-accepting and it's just so beautiful. So um, start again with the top 10 oils and then like we talked about last week, every month incorporate something new. So you should at least know the top 10 oils and if you don't know what to say, they have scripts here. I'm not going to read all of them, but but these are good scripts for like when you're in the beginning and you don't know what to say, you can use this. As you progress and you become more comfortable, you probably won't even need a script because you're just talking. Remember, doTERRA is all about relationships, relationships first, business second, um, and you would talk to your friend like you talk to your friend. You talk to your mom like you talk to your mom. You're not going to start getting all weird and doing scripts, so um, just keep that in mind, but there's a few good tips in here. So, well, you know how we struggled with blank. So maybe you had your um, child suffered with bedwetting or you had suffered with um, irritable bowel syndrome or I don't know, whatever you're suffering with that some of your friends know, well, we've been loving doTERRA essential oils and they're helping us with so many different things, right? So now you can talk about what your experience was, okay? Um, ask permission to share a sample or a story. And I'm just curious, are you open to trying something natural for that? So if they're talking about, um, you know, your friend is talking about their, they have this cough they can't get rid of or whatever, you can say, are you curious to try something um, natural? One easy way to do this if you're on Facebook, pretty much uh, every day you'll find someone complaining about something on social media and that's really easy to take it off of line and, you know, or, or off of Facebook and put into the messenger, give them a call, ask them if there's something natural. Um, I know several women who have started doTERRA business because a friend reached out to them from Facebook because they were talking about how sick their kids were or how they couldn't shake this something or they were looking for a natural cleaner or whatever and they took it, again, not on the comments, but they literally took it to the messenger and asked them if they're open to try something natural. And when a mother is struggling, especially when she goes out to Facebook to vent or to ask for help, she's going to be open to anything, right? And, and most likely at that point, they've already tried the other way and they are open for natural ways because they just want something that works at this point, right? So that's, that's huge if you are um, paying attention, okay? So that's such a great, great way to get a sample in someone's hand, especially they're pretty much begging for a sample at that point. Um, and then you get asked permission if you can follow up with them, which is so ridiculous. And I've done this myself, so I know. But if you give them a sample, it's like common sense. You should follow up with them. But sometimes we're like afraid. We're like, oh, what if it didn't work for them? Or what if, um, you know, I don't want to be pushy. I don't want them to think I'm just trying to sell them something. And so we sometimes don't follow up. But what we're doing is, one, we're not being a good friend. We're not like helping them because if let's say they don't know how to use it, who's going to help them? Well, let's say time goes by and another advocate reaches out to them and they did not forget to follow up. We introduced doTERRA to them and then they enrolled with somebody else because we did not follow up. Okay. So you would ask them if it's okay, can I follow up with you? And even if you don't you forget to ask them, just best practices to follow up with them. Okay. Um, next part. And there, I'll, go to the, I'll go over the business part in a second, but I'm just sticking to the top part in the white right now. Two, invite to a presentation, okay? Are you open to learning more? Okay, and if you already have a presentation or a class or whatever scheduled, after you share the product, you can go and say, hey, I have a class on Tuesday or whatever. It's, it's, it's a natural transition to the next step, but invite them to a presentation. I like to use the word classes. I don't like really the word presentation and I do not like the word home party because 
I don't know. I like classes. And I feel like when they come to a class, they know they're going to get educated. doTERRA is really known for their high education, right? Uh, they we're not just about getting a sale and then leaving the person. I feel like we are huge in education. And if you've been part of our group already that you know that that we're all about educating daily on the oils. And um, that's the key, right? So inviting them. Um, let's see here. Personalize your invitations. So when you're talking to somebody, um, the worst thing to do is like a group message to the world or to Facebook or to a, a text message, a group text message. Um, I know if I get one of those, I don't even look at it. I don't even open it. I don't look at it. It's they're they're being an amateur and they're not. They really don't care if I go. They're just inviting every single person they know, right? So the best thing is to personally invite. And so when I was getting started with my business, I literally messaged every single person personally and to invite them in to the business or to use the product or to sample or whatever. It, I made this huge list and um, just knocked out as many people, right? Um, one on one, that takes time. It took a lot of time to do that, but that's the best way, right? And that's the best way to connect. Again, we're all about relationships and people can feel that and sense that. And um, it might not be for everybody, right? So, but you might know, again, if someone's talking about that on Facebook, you say, hey, I saw your post about your kids always getting sick, or I saw that you, whatever, something that they're talking about online or, you, you're talking to them at the soccer game or the volleyball game or the pickup line or wherever wherever you are and you hear your friends talking, then it's so easy to personalize that because you're like, I know you were guys were just talking about being sick for two weeks. I'm coming, you know, I have this class. Like, I'd love to invite you. Maybe you can find something that, you know, that you'll find interesting. Um, something like that, obviously, make it personal to them. If they if they have experienced essential oils before, are you open to learning more about essential oils? Don't be afraid of someone who's already been using oils. I actually love inviting them to classes or talking with me, and I'm never negative if they're in another company. Um, I always say the same thing. Like that is so awesome. Like I'm so glad you love oils. I love oils too. Like you know, maybe you can share some stories with us. Um, again, we never want to be. Uh, again, negative about another company, they just don't know about doTERRA yet, honestly. You know, and I've had a lot of people switch over from other companies because once they've tried doTERRA and they've joined our community, it's like nothing like they've ever seen. Especially if they're getting from a grocery store, they don't know the difference yet, and they don't know that they get the whole community behind the oil, which has a ton of value, um, especially if they bought something and they don't know what to do with it. They come to the class and they can buy some more oils. Okay, if they're new to oils, are you open to natural forms of healthcare? What do you want to know about essential oils? Would you be open to learning more? I'm having a class on Tuesday, and, or we can, can meet together on Wednesday. You know, what works best for you? You always have to just be, um, you know, mindful of who you're talking to. Talk to them like a regular person. If you're standing there, don't try to memorize the script and just be full of a script, but just make it a conversation with them and just always lead with your heart. You're, you're helping somebody out, right? I feel like that's what stumps people sometimes is they're like, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Well, honestly, you cannot say the wrong thing, okay? Um, the right people will come. And the, the other cool thing is to you have to remember this, that you can say all the wrong things to the right person and that person will still join you because they're the right person. Or you can say all the right things to the wrong person and they're not gonna join you because they're the wrong person, okay? So just relax, you literally can't mess up, but there are some um, scripts here if you need help, okay? Um, let's see, number three, remind them to come. Okay, this is really important. You've already done the work and in inviting, and you guys, I just wanna let you know too, I have um, the pipes, so, uh, prepare, invite, present, enroll, and sponsor in a five video series on my blog, bodydagby.com, or my YouTube that will go into a lot more detail on how to invite someone to a class or to your business or to whatever. This is just like an overview, but if you guys want more information on that, 
um, go to those types of videos, okay? Um, but this is like a, I have a good example about reminding them to come. You've already done the work. I feel like inviting someone to a class and sharing them and sampling them before the class is probably the most, sort of the most time consuming steps, but they're so important to the class and to your success. And so after you've already done that and you've already messaged people and you've figured out what class they're gonna come to, let's say you have multiple ones on the books, um, it's easy to forget reminding them to come, but you guys, this is like making sure they actually come because so many times something comes up, some, their kid gets sick, they forgot, they're, they're tired, their husband's working late, whatever reasons come up all the time. And I know that because I'm that person. I, I try to get out of as many things as possible <laughs> because I already have so many things on my plate. I just, I, I, I love to say no to things because I can't do it all and I have no problem saying no. But if somebody messaged me that day and they said, I'm so excited to see you. I have a sample waiting for you or I know you're gonna love the speaker. Um, or like there's this recipe that I'm dying to show you or whatever that I'm like, I'm coming because I'm not going to let that person down. If they didn't remind me, I'm more likely to bail out. And that is so rude of me and I'm sorry, but that is so true. So I bet you there's other people out there like that. Okay. Um, or I just forget about it. Or my, my kids have a lot of homework that day. I'm very easy to just put everything else in front of that class or that event because to them, it might not be a top priority like it is to you, right? It's to you, it's your everything. You've been planning for it and all that. Um, for the person you invited, that's just another thing they've been invited to for them sometimes. Not all the time, right? But sometimes. So keep that in mind. Just because they say they're going to come doesn't mean they're actually going to come until they're at your house. So reminding them, I, again, I think a text in the morning or something is great. And an example of this too is I just went to Chicago to do a class during the, the <laughs> coldest week, right, of like the, the whole year, and it was a snowstorm, and like literally, we were like on the phone, like the host was like, I don't know, I'm mean, like, what should I do? People are, the roads are being shut down, are people gonna, you know, cancel? And I said, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna, you know, message or call every single person and say you're excited to see them. And just assume they're gonna come, and then, that's what happened and she did that and we had multiple people show up. I think a few people did cancel because legit they couldn't get out of their house. Um, but we had so many people come and we even told them to bring a friend and sometimes, you know, in that situation, if, if they're excited to get out and, and do something because they've been stuck inside because it's been so cold. Okay. So that little text makes a huge difference. Okay. Sharing the business a lot of this has this, the same thing, and I think we're going to talk more about sharing the business underneath, but let me just see if there's anything um, that I want to talk about. Begin connecting with the person online, over the phone. There's a lot I could say about this. Um, let me think how detailed I want to get. Are you open to additional ways of creating income? Share your vision. Tell them why you thought of them. All right, I'll just, I'm just going to say this because even though I think that, that I called the what is this what are we on the share guide a soft launch i'm going to be totally honest with you guys and tell you what i did because i know i get that i get that question a lot i also have a video on on youtube of what i did uh what it really takes to grow fast in doTERRA uh what i put my mind to something i do it i do it really hardcore and so when i was starting the business we did a lot of three-way calls and in fact, I talked more about the business than I talked about the product only because, again, you guys know my story. I came from another company and all of that income was gone and I wanted to replace that. And I'd already been using the oils for six months. They were amazing. They were life changing. I knew doTERRA was literally everything that I, if, like if I could make the perfect business plan, in, you know, if I could just dream up the perfect business, doTERRA was it. So my confidence level was high. My confidence in, in the product were high. The confidence in myself was high. So for me, going to tell everyone that I knew was very natural. I'm like, I just, I couldn't wait to tell people about it, okay? So I did um, personal messages first on Facebook. And I didn't even tell them what it was about at first. And I just said, I have something, you know, that I want to go over with you. 
uh, can we get on the phone? And that was it. Because this kind of thing, when you're talking about the business especially, you can't really talk about that over Messenger or Facebook. It has to be, I think, something personal because there's just, there's just too much. There's too much to talk about. There's the, the heart of it, your emotions. It, that doesn't always come through over, over online. And plus, when you're starting a business, you want to make sure you have the right people in place. And um, I feel like you just can't do that unless you're actually having a relationship with them and talking to them, right? So I would get on the phone with them, had to be on the phone. All, all the people that I was working with were not local. Otherwise, I would have been local, okay? And I talked to them about um, what I was doing, that I'm, I'm starting something new, and I'm you know, very excited, and I only have two to three st spots open that I'm trying to fill right now. And I told them the kind of person I was looking for, right? So in the beginning, we learned the... Um, CCs from from Elise, the the committed and the capable, and we had the seven characteristics. I don't really I go on this this more, but I've also developed it more into my own of who I'm looking for. But the the ones that we were taught, and again, I was taught from the best of the best of Elise set of these. So um, they were women ages 35 to 45. If they're married, they have a supportive spouse. They're natural minded. They're um, influential. They are entrepreneurial and they have a financial need, right? So I told them, I'm looking for this kind of person and I thought of you because of this. And then you make it, I made it very personal of why I thought of them because of, uh, you know, you could say you're already a business owner. You are very influential. You have, you know, a lot of friends. You are the PTA mom, whatever, all these different reasons of why you thought of that person. They're um, into fitness, they're a yoga instructor, whatever, you know, you're letting them know why you specifically thought of them. Okay, that this again, this is just for the business. And then you invite them to learn more about the opportunity, which we did three way calls. So after that, I would say, and I'm summing this up, but after they say, you know, yes or no, if they're interested, if they're no, if they say no, then, then I just invite them to be a customer. If they say they want to learn more or maybe the next step for us is a three-way call. Okay. And if you're listening to this and you're on my team and you don't know if your upline does three-way calls, bring them to me or bring them to whatever, how many levels up they do calls. Um, figure that out. But if not, I'm more than happy to do them. I, I love 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 doing the calls okay and i think it's a great way uh to find out if someone's good for the business okay um on for their side and your side if they're a good match for you and if also if it's a good match for them okay and i we do that two different ways the first call is a get to know you call where we really just get to know them what are their dreams what are you know who are they what do they like to do for fun we basically form them the whole time um and, and as far as the business what are their goals with the business? Like how much they want to earn, how fast, what does that look like to them? What's their time that they have, you know, available each day or how much time can they carve? Cause who actually has time. Right. Um, and then that's the first call. Then the second call is a business strategy call where we go into details on the business and I actually have them draw out the business plan and, um, we make it special for them. Okay. And I think we're actually going to talk more about that in um, the build or the launch. I have to double check to see which, what week it is. And also I have videos on um, YouTube with placements one and two, which that's very generic. It's not personalized, but still you can get the feel of it if you can't wait for next week. And then we would have them start the business. Okay, that's pretty much how I would share the business. But in the beginning, I was on the phone probably what like 12, at least 12 hours a day doing calls and business calls and then lifestyle overview calls inviting people to the class right so the the more you do and the fast the faster you're going to grow honestly okay um but for me a lot of my success was business getting having people enroll in the business and then having their their people or having them start on the list and then invite them to the business or classes and then having their people have a list, right? And I'll go at however many deep levels down that I have to, okay? So I've done calls with people that are like so low on my tree, right? But that's okay. That's 
we're here to help everybody. If it helps somebody all the way here, it's all it's going to help the whole team all the way up. Okay. Um, and I want you to have that same mentality when you're thinking on your team. Um, it just however many people you can help, right? And I also try to do that cross lines or all over doTERRA because the more you help, the the whole doTERRA grows. And also once you're getting pools, then that it, it comes back to you, right? So the more you give out, the more it comes back to you always, okay? What you're going to put you. So anyway, so let me know if you guys have questions on this, but this is just a very generic way. But so the main thing is if you have some interest in the business and you don't know what to do, or even if you do know what to do, I still like having them go through the three-way call process because um, it's very duplicatable. It's, and it works. It works really well and it's fast. Okay, I mean, fast meaning it takes multiple calls and hours and sampling and that kind of thing, but it's very effective because most of those people are going to enroll and they are shown the right steps from the beginning, okay? And that doesn't always happen, again, because I've had people enroll with me that I've never talked to and they just enrolled online or they saw me online and they enrolled, and so that's okay. So then I just work backwards. Then on my first call will be the get to know you call, and then I'll do the, the build call with them after they enroll. So if somebody is ready to enroll right away, I'm not gonna say stop, we have to go through the process. I will say, great, let's get you going. And then we can always um, fill in the gaps. That's no problem, okay? Um, okay, so create experiences. Okay, I think that's one of, the, one of my coolest things about using essential oils is that it's an instant experience and it's so easy to share. So easy. Um, like again, you guys know I was another company and sometimes when you're sharing other products, it takes like a month to, to find results or something, right? But with, with oils, it's instant. Like they can literally, I'm drinking grapefruit. I can put it in my water and I, I just taste it. It smells so good. I can diffuse it. I can roll it on and breathe it in. You guys, I've had people that have come to um, classes and they just walk into the class and it just smells so good. The last class that I was at, she had her niece and nephew over. Um, I'm not gonna say names, it's kind of funny, but um, she, had, she had her niece and nephew over. And she told the story at the class, but they weren't there for the class. They were just there visiting. And I guess they were both hung over from the night before, but she was diffusing grapefruit. And they walked in and they were like, oh my gosh, like she told, that, she told them later, like we were feeling so sick. But then, like, we walked in your house, and they were breathing in the air, and they're like, all of our sickness, like, their, <laughs> their hangover, it was gone just from breathing it in, right? So you can see results instantly, right? Another girl was at a class, and, and she was breathing in the breathe oil, and then she, I think it was one of, I mean, it was, I think it was Melissa, one of Melissa's class in our team, I can't remember whose class it was, but. Um, one of the one of the guests came and she was breathing in the breathe and then she'd go to the bathroom and she was like coughing up all this stuff and um, she came back and they were like worried like oh my gosh what did the oil do but she goes oh my gosh she goes I feel so good she goes I had that stuff that was building up for me for so long and I wasn't able to get it out and she went to the class breathed it in got it out and she bought like I don't know it was like National Solutions or the Every Oil or the Diamond Kit or something like that. I can't remember all the details, but she's like, she loved it. She was like, that was such a good feeling, literally, to get it out. I know those were weird examples, but those were, the, those were ones that just came to my head quickly. Um, there's so many other times when people have had head tension and, you know, they instantly had results, right? Um, different, different people are dealing with different things, right? So those were just quick things. Okay. Um, sharing your story, we'll talk more about how you can find your story, but that's a great way to create an experience with someone, share an oil experience, share a sample, or share online, which that's my favorite thing to do is share online, honestly. And I was going over, I was like going over my training for this, and I'm like, how can I fit in sharing online, like sneaking it into the classes and the sampling, and honestly, there's a lot, right? Um, most people are not going to be as onto like as into online as I am. I know that most people they still do they like to do the classes where I like to do a lot of my classes online. I of course will do them in real life, and I'll definitely travel to my team to do classes. Um, 
but um oh and i will say so in the beginning when i first started while well, doing all those phone calls i was also doing online classes two to three classes a week okay so if you're ever like wanting to know how to do more or for your business just start getting a lot of things in your in your calendar your calendar will always tell you um, if you're going to be successful or not, right? Just look at your calendar and look at how many people you're talking to a day and on the phone, not just Facebooking, right? Um, and how many, how many people are coming to your class, right? You got to get people into it. Um, so, but anyway, back to the sharing online, I'm going to do a bonus class at the end of this and I'll probably do it in our, I will definitely do it live in our oil leadership team versus zoom because People love the interaction. I can read your comments instantly. And I'm going to talk all about specifically sharing online and updating you to this point because I've done several other videos like this, but social media is always changing. And so I'll just share that and uh, like what's working and what's not working in 2019. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, okay, so where and when to share. You pretty much just share wherever because. People are always going different places, sporting events, gathering schools, social media. Um, you can always share. There's always, it's, if it's part of your lifestyle, it's going to be with you everywhere you go. Other ideas, carry your samples with you. The keychain, I'm obsessed with the keychains. I have a couple of them. And you can always have your oils on hand. And seriously, when I go places, if I go back to visit my family or if I'm out or you're like shopping or whatever, you always can just pull these samples out and and, and people are going to smell them and, and ask questions. I've had samples in my in my um, keychain where someone was talking about an oil, and I just said, here, I was able to just give them it out of uh, my keychain, right? If you do that, remember to follow up with them, and I, so then you can get their information. I like, if I did that, it was like a, most likely it would be a random person, it'd be like someone who I already have somewhat of a relationship with, I would make sure I friend them on Facebook, and I would also get their um, cell phone. So what I can follow up with them on Facebook and they can start following my posts and I can invite them to join my groups and pages and whatnot. And then um, I, would, I would take it into my own hands to follow up with them. Don't ever give out your business card or whatever to them or just say follow me on Facebook because that is the biggest waste and they're never gonna follow up with you, okay? Um, it, take your business into your own hands and you follow up with them, okay? Uh, you can use the healthy can be simple guide. Honestly, I've never used that, but um, I'm sure that other people in the, in the team do. But I have looked at it, and honestly, it's so easy. You could do a whole class from it. It doesn't have the top 10 oils. I think it has like maybe the top eight or something. And basically, if you were carrying samples around, you can always give that to them. Um, if you can't, if you don't have it with you, you can you can give them a PDF of it for free. Just share it with them. Um, or share online. Again, this is one of my, oh, I forgot about the other samples. There's other samples, toothpaste, deep, the deep blue rub. I give a lot of these other things in my welcome packages too. Um, pretty much all the samples that Toterra has, the throat drops, the breathe drops, the on guard toothpaste, the rub, um, anything that is like a sample, I put them in their welcome package also because they most likely didn't start with the toothpaste or something. Um, but you can also start someone with doTERRA that way. Okay, share online, again, whew, I love uh, sharing online, but if you're looking for ideas of what to do or what to post about, doTERRA has a ton of things and a ton of things you can say and can't say. You always have to be compliant when you're talking about things online. It says go here, doTERRA.com, go to Advocates, Discover Solutions. They're gonna talk about, um, information about every product. If you go to doTERRA Empowered Living, you'll see a webinar for every product line. Um, if you go to doTERRA Advocates, I think presentations, you can see um, graphics that you can use online, okay? Um, you don't wanna take somebody else's graphic. If you're on my team, you may use any of my stuff that I have made without asking. That's part of the gift for being on our team, that you can use any of my graphics. I have a lot of people asking, can I use that? Can I use that? If I personally made it, or it's a picture of um, even me holding an oil, that's fine. You can use that, okay? You don't even have to link back to me. Um, but you don't want to take someone else's photo online unless you ask for permission or share that it was their photo. But doTERRA gives a lot of good um, graphics and 
let's see, I do pay to use some of their graphics. It's like $10 a year, and I honestly don't even know if they're still doing that, but I think they are, where they make graphics. You could buy it in your back office. Maybe it's like $15, and then you have access to all their graphics. I can't remember the name of that. I don't remember what it is called. I don't use a lot of their stuff. Um, on my Instagram or Facebook, those I like to take my own photos because I think a people connect with people. Um, I use them more in our groups and that kind of thing because it's still good. It's a really pretty image. They can use that. But um, like on my Instagram, those are like, I like to take those of like me holding the products. Like yesterday was the BOGO and I had me holding the oils again because then they're like, oh, look, there's Bonnie in her house using the, that oil. Okay. Um, uh, we'll talk more about that in the social media. Sampling tips. Um, obviously, it should be something that they are interested in. So if <laughs> they're saying that they want, uh, if they're suffering from head tension, you're, you're not going to talk about, oh, you know, it'd be great. Let's put, like, let's give you lavender to sleep. Okay, I'm sure that, that would help with tension. But they're probably thinking, you know, you can, you can give them peppermint to help with their head right away. Um, or, you know, you would say, hey, go ahead and make this green cleaner with the lemon when they're talking about, uh, you know, digestive issues, something like that, right? Uh, then you would say, put that in your water. But the most, the top oils that people use to sample out are uh, wild orange, deep blue, lavender, peppermint, those are the, the top, but also On Guard, Breathe, um, Serenity. Okay, just decide what that person needs. I try to pick from the top 10 oils because you already have them. And also, after they've used the oils, you could say, great, that comes in the Home Essential Kit. Okay, um, not everyone, like the Wild Orange, is, it should be one of the top 11 oils because it's so awesome, right? Um, but whatever they use, I want it to be part of the top 10 oils or at least start there. And then also they're probably one of the least expensive oils, right? I usually don't sample frankincense because it is more of an uh, expensive oil. And not just for us, for, for um, the cost of sampling. Also for them, let's say they love the frankincense, but you're like, okay, that's $100 or something like that. You know, it's easier, I think, to get someone going and saying that that, that peppermint was this price, the, the, lap, the lemon was $10 or something like that. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter what, what um, oil it is. I always try to have them start with the Home Essential Kit. So great, you like that? It's in the Home Essential Kit. You can buy the whole kit. Um, I, I really never sell one oil at a time. Of course, you can if they want to, but I feel like it's the best value for them to get the kit. It's cheaper, the enrollment fee is waived, they get the diffuser, and um, they're gonna wanna try the other oils. Because once you try one, they're gonna want all of them. They can make blends, they can use them together, they enhance each other, okay? Um, and then I, I'm all about creating that, that whole lifestyle. I don't, I don't feel like one oil can give you um, that, that lifestyle, right? So we're trying to sell that lifestyle. So. Um, okay, support their experience. So if they had a positive experience, obviously um, invite them to a class. You should invite them to a class either way. Consider offering them a sample to incentivize to attend a class. Yeah, you know what? I've had really good results, me or people that are hosting, to give everybody who comes and orders a wild orange. So you can buy the class in the box for $25, and it comes with 10 uh, classes or handouts with the little 5 milliliter wild orange and those are great gifts and they're so inexpensive okay or you can take those wild oranges and and make little sample bottles and sorry I'm getting a call and um, make roller bottles and it's like diluted down and it's even cheaper okay so that way everyone coming can at least take something away you can make wild orange and peppermint roller bottles with those but Anyway, so if they had a negative experience or no results, like this is what you do, okay? And I've got to have some water first. Okay, and then we're almost done. I'm going to try to keep it an hour. Whew. Okay, so I always tell them, even from the beginning, like before they even try the sample, it's like, I don't know if it's going to work for you, okay? Um, 
because if you promise it's going to work and then it, they're, they're so excited and if it doesn't work, they're probably going to be like, well, I'm never trying that again or oils don't work or whatever. Um, I always say it's the same thing as like an, a medication. And I, I think I've said this exact analogy in the last video and, and, and I don't know, I, I say it all the time because I just want people to know that everyone is different. So the way the, your body works and the properties of the oils, they're totally going to be different for everybody and everyone has different body chemistry. And that's the same thing as if the person, if you had two neighbors that were both allergic to the same grass, but one medication did not work for that one person and the other person it did. And they, you know, they swear by it, the other person swears by a different medication because it worked differently with their bodies. Same thing with essential oils. What works for one might not work for the other. Again, back to the head tension. One of the girls, she has an awesome result with this one head tension blend. And then the other one, it, she has, depending on what kind of head tension, she has to actually use different oils because um, the causes of the head tension, right? So she knows, like, if she were just to try one thing and it didn't work, um, she wouldn't be open to trying different things. Now she's like, okay, when it's this kind of head tension, if it's here, if it's here, like she has different blends that she whips up for different things. And she's, she now knows it works for her, right? So I just tell her, you have to be patient. You ha we have to like try to find out different things. It's a journey. And we're really just trying to find the root cause and it takes time, right? And I, and I say, I don't know every detail. And, and I give them Home Essential or the Life Essential books so they can research themselves. And uh, it's a process. And some people don't have time for that. And, and some people, when, when they find something that works, um, it's worth that time that it takes to invest into their health, okay? Um, let's see. Oh, sharing your story. Let me see much longer. All right, I'm going to be quick. I might go over an hour, but I'm going to try to be quick here. Um, okay, sharing your story. This is one of the most important things that you can do for your business, obviously, is sharing your story because if you don't have a story – or you're stumbling over your words, or you don't know where to begin, or you don't know why you like oils, <laughs> it's gonna be really hard to talk to somebody else about them, right? So it's really awesome to have your own story and have it down pat. So I'll give you my example, my story for an example, and you can kind of um, use your own story, but I, I encourage you to write this down. And you can even type it down and like in your phone and use that as your story. So when you're looking for something to post, you can repost your story anytime with a different photo of you. <laughs> you know, people don't see it the first time. But um, what wasn't working for you? So for me, I, or I'll read all of it and then I'll go on. How long had it been going on and what problems uh, were created as a result? So for me, I had Lyme disease. I didn't know it, but I was going to these doctors, getting diagnosed with different things, adrenal fatigue. Um, you know, I just, I was gaining weight. I was having severe PMS. You know, I was, I was dealing with all these things. And the problem was I just didn't know what to do, right? Nothing was working. Um, what had you tried? What kind of results were you getting? And what was the cost to you? Again, yeah, I tried every diet. I was uh, trying uh, different, like, remedies. I was trying supplements. I was, you know, I went paleo. I was, I was just doing different things to try and some of the things did work, but it, I felt like something was missing for me, right? And this is the super quick version because of time. What led you to doTERRA and what was different about these solutions? So for me, I was searching for it. I was looking online and reading stories, and I didn't have someone coming to me saying, you should join my team or do doTERRA. I, there were some few people I was following online, that no one that I knew personally, but I was just like, what's up with this? with these oils, right? They're everywhere. Why do the people use them? Like, like, we're not deficient in an oil. Why do we need oils? Like, I just, I didn't understand and I was very skeptical. And I like telling people that I was skeptical because most people are skeptical when they think of oils. And so when you say, like, if this is your story, but like, when you say, yeah, I was skeptical, they're like, okay, great. Like, same with me, right? They're, they can relate to you. And I wasn't sure if they were going to work. Um, uh, where, where was I? Um, what was different about these solutions, right? And so I, for me, it was the one thing I hadn't tried. And I wanted to cross it off the list saying, at least I tried it and then I'm done. <laughs> and 
What kind of results did you start experiencing and how have the products and opportunity changed your life? Well, the first month I noticed my period was better. Again, I have to be really compliant when I say these things too. Your story might be something as similar like you were, you're battling with um, a mood issue and you're feeling down and out and then you tried the wild orange and you start feeling like a happier person very compliant um that was claire's story right that the wild orange completely changed your life so it doesn't have to be something dramatic like my lyme disease story but uh what results were you starting to experience my my pms was improved my ovulation pain was going away i started losing weight i started having more energy i started feeling like a like a normal person when you're suffering from all those other things starting to feel normal is everything right um how have the product or opportunity changed your life? Well, I talked about the products, the opportunity. After four months of being in doTERRA, I replaced what I had built in my other company that took seven years. And by, which was a, um, by four months, I was earning six figure in doTERRA, month, you know, um, for, for the per month, so over $8,000 a month. And then by month five, it was multiple six figures. Okay, so that's a huge um, story. Now, not everyone's gonna have that same story. Um, so wherever you are, that's your story. Maybe the first month you are able to earn your products for free, right? I think my first weekly paycheck was $500. So in the beginning, I went with that. In my first week, I paid off my products, you know, and then you have date, mo date night money and you were able to pay a school loan or a car payment. Whatever your story is, that's your story, okay? Um, what is life like for you now? So maybe now I'm like, I'm on zero medications from, you know, my Lyme disease. I, and if, if you know anything about Lyme disease, it's weekly medications, which I wanted to do the natural route first. Obviously, I'm not against um, the medical way, but I wanted to see what was natural first, right? Um, what is life like for you now? Flexible income, or I mean, flexible business with a full-time income where I could move, I could travel. My kids are home again today. Last week they were home too, and today's for a different reason they're home, and I'm still able to work my business. Um, last week I was able to go to Chicago. This weekend we're going to Washington, D.C., you know? Um, so you can still live your life and have an awesome business, right? And we've been able to grow over 7,000 people in our team uh, just in a couple of years from, I think we're at 16 different countries now. So that's my story, right? So sometimes I'll talk about the product side, sometimes it'll be the business, sometimes it'll be both. But know your story, and my story evolved over years, right? So in the beginning, again, it was my health story. I didn't really talk about the business online until months after I, had, I was um, in it. I probably didn't even talk about the business until after I was diamond <laughs> online. I, I talked just about the product online. So that's just more of doTERRA's culture to talk about the product. Um, but you can do whatever feels natural to you, okay? Asking questions are huge because again, that was my story, but now the point of it is not to just talk about yourself, but that's just to share your experience, but now talk to them about what, what they need and how you can help them, okay? What is your part? Oh, you know, we kind of talked about this already, a little bit about this, but um, when you're inviting your friends to a product or business presentation slash class, you could choose the format that is right for them or, you know, right for you or whatever, because I couldn't do things in person because my people were all over, so we did a lot of phone calls, a lot of three-way calls. I did Zooms, I did FaceTime, um, you know, for the for the one-on-ones, okay? I would send samples to their house just through the mail. They couldn't breathe it in, you know, sitting next to me. So you, there's zero excuses, guys. When I first started, I was in a move. We'd moved again, and now we're moving again. This is my third move in doTERRA. There is zero excuses. There, if, if you're, you know, moving, you don't know someone, who cares? You know somebody in another state. <laughs> or uh, you just work it around your schedule. So after the kids are in bed or while they're at school or at nap time, sometimes you, if you have babies, you can't do a Zoom because you have kids. So do a phone call. That's okay. And if it's noise in the background, that's okay. Like a lot of um, moms are looking at you and they're wondering, can, can they do what you're doing, right? Or let's say you're a full-time job, you can fit in a call in the 
the, the lunch break or do a call on the way to work. Um, so many times we've, we've been doing three way calls and the other person, if they're, they're muted, they're like, I'm doing this or I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of this and they're just on mute. So you just do what you gotta do. You guys, like <laughs> if you want to go, you just go and get it. Like there's so with today's age, there's so many different ways of doing it. Um, preparation. If you're meeting them, this is obvious. Find a date and time that works both for you, best for you at our location. If you don't want to do these classes in your house, which is fine. Go to a Starbucks, go to the Chick-fil-A, go to a library. We've had girls do classes at the library. Um, if, you know, if, if you're saying, oh, my house is too small, or I don't want to clean it, or there's not enough parking or whatever, those are just excuses. Find a way to make it work around that. Um, prepare to introduce the presenter, like if you're doing a, a class, and to show or share who they are, where they're coming from, and why are they worth listening to. So in the beginning, my first class, I was the presenter and I was also the host. So they just had to listen to me because I was the person. Um, but if you are bringing in your upline or, or someone's coming to your class, you have to edify the heck out of them because that's what you do, not for their own ego, but it's because it will actually help you and it will let your, your class know why this person um, is important, right? Maybe they have a great health story or business story or or whatever it is. Maybe they're just a really um, knowledgeable person, something like that. You have to edify them. Okay, so when I'm going to a class, I would tell the host, um, I want you to introduce me and I want you to tell them these things about me. Again, not for my ego, but it's because they should know why I'm there and, and what we're, we want to do. We want to help them. Like she came all the way from New Jersey for this class and this and that. Like uh, and then people are like, oh my gosh, I want to listen, right? Verse, oh, this is my friend Bonnie, begin. <laughs> and they don't know why, why am I there? Um, so so whoever, if you are lucky enough to have your upline there, edify them. Our team is so big and worldwide that that is not always the case. So one, then you can host your own class in the beginning, which is totally fine. Two, you can get together with another um, person cross line and you guys can do classes for each other and be the host or um, I like to do this online again I'm, I'm stepping ahead of myself but if you are on our team I this is what I like to do for the for the people that join me or for anyone on our team is I like to do classes online in a Facebook group so you'd make a private group like your own VIP group and you and me would get on together live. I use the Be Live program, so we're both side by side, and we're hosting the class together. So you would tell, you would invite people to the group, and you would say, you know, we're doing a class at this time. Bonnie's going to be the speaker, and this and this. She's the diamond. This, you know, all that stuff. And you get people to commit to that time. Maybe you send them out a sample beforehand, or you say anyone who's on live is going to get a free wild orange, or. Um, you know, the incentive for the day, something like that, to get them in live so they can be asking things. We can do live giveaways during it. Say, yeah, after we say like the cool three, th the, cre the three cool things about essential oils, um, you say, hey, what's the first cool thing about essential oils? And then they have to enter it, like comment it in, and you pick someone from the comments or whatever. You can make it fun and interactive. But basically, um, I like to do that with them because it will stay in Facebook, that group or that video. You can pin it to the top and say, first step is watch this video. Second step, enroll here. Third step, schedule a call with me here or something like that, whatever it is. And so you guys have a class or maybe you're just getting started. You don't know what to say yet. That is a good way of getting a class in. And then you can invite all of your friends worldwide to there to that class but then new people that are coming in and that you're meeting later can go to your class right or maybe um you know you'll have moms watching that and while they're up in the middle of the night nursing or maybe a friend adds a friend because they're like you know what my friend uh is gonna love this video can i can i invite her in and she can watch it and then you're you're starting your team okay so there's so many different things of or ways of doing that um Anyway, I'm kind of skipping on a little bit. Um, ask the individual. Oh, I do this in the beginning of the class. I say, who has used essential oils before? And tell me what you want to learn tonight. 
or today or whatever because one I want to know what their knowledge of essential oils are okay are they massage therapists who, who use them every day in their practice or are they like I'm brand new I have no clue right I like to do that because I like to see um, what they need or maybe they say hey I have kids I want to know how do I keep my kids healthy or I have I battle with this emotional need or whatever I'm trying to help them and then when it gets to that part in the class I make sure I focus on that if we have a whole group of people and none of them are moms I'm not really gonna talk about kids health because they're interested in the cleanse or the fitness or whatever okay um, I'm gonna skip a little bit more of this always invite way more than what you think are you're gonna have because a lot of people just doesn't work out for their schedules but you can invite them to a one-on-one -on -one if they can't come I like to diffuse wild orange and peppermint during my classes okay a good ideal timeline from day one of sharing um, the oil the sample all the way to um, day 14 would be day one should they share the oil Day three, follow up, invite them to a class to learn more. Day eight, follow up reminder for the class, right? Day 10, two to, two to four hour reminder for class. Uh, enroll them. And then uh, 12 to 14, uh, lifestyle overview. Okay, your part in the presentation. We talked about edifying. That's so important. Share your story, right? Um, let's see support guests in getting enrolled with a kit. I already talked about that. I assume everyone's gonna get the home essential kit. And then when I'm closing, I again assume everyone's going to be closing that night, okay? Uh, if you're in person, I like to have the sheets, the handouts, and have them fill it out because sometimes if you say you can just go online and fill it out, um, they'll say, I'll go do that at home. And then they forget. So I just like to get the paper in hand and I'll put it in the computer myself, okay? Um, and again, assume the sale. I assume everybody wants to get started, but if they don't, that's okay. You can follow up with them in a couple hours. My first in-home class, I had four people, and two were already using oils from someone else, another like doTERRA oils from someone else, and the other two people left without ordering. <laughs> I was like, bummed. That was my first class. Um, but then I followed up with both of them, and they both enrolled. So you just have to do that follow-up, okay? Uh, you have to, have to, have to, okay? And they give you some questions or things to say. Same with the business. If I do a follow-up call with them, it's in within 40, 24 to 40 hours, like from, from one call one from call two. If they give me a week or two, then they're not serious. I'm like, you gotta do it right away, especially while they're fresh in their mind. Okay, change more lives. Sharing is rewarding with doTERRA, authentic direct selling and compensation model. Um, as you continue to power others with natural solutions, you also empower yourself. Over time, you can earn free pro or earn products for free, build a financial pipeline, and create residual income. You guys, this is so huge. Like DoTerra is legit. You, I mean, I don't know any other company that you can earn as much as you can with DoTerra. Okay, um, but there are some things to know. So fast start bonuses are weekly. You 100% need to have 100. PV on your LRP to get fast start. So as soon as you enroll or as soon as you get a builder that joins with you, get them on 100 LRP right away. Even if they don't know what they want right away, just put it in and they can edit it later. It has to be 100 LRP in their template at all times to earn the weekly commissions because you get those weekly. The enrollment um, level one, you get 20%. So let's say I enroll someone. I get 20% off of that order for the first 60 days. Then they enroll someone, okay, and then they get their 20% and I get 10%. Okay, then that person enrolls someone, and then their person get, gets 20%, then the other person gets 10, and then I get 5% off that. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. It's always for the first 60 days. So it's not my first 60 days, it's their first 60 days. So again, when that someone enrolls with me, I get 20% on their first 60 days of ordering. So they're usually their first order or their second order, okay? Um, and then it goes to Unilevel. Okay, we're gonna talk more about the bonuses at the next video. Build or launch, I can't remember, one of them. And then um, 
let's say now my person's person ordered something, well, they, they get their 20% and then I get 10%. The more people you enroll with doTERRA, the more you're going to make, okay? Let's just, that's it, that's the truth. You're gonna, always gonna earn more when you're enrolling someone yourself versus having someone getting placed on your team, okay? Because um, then if someone gets placed on your team, you're not earning anything until after 61 days, you'll get Unilevel. All right, so for, they give an example. If you earn, if you sell a, home, a family essential and natural solutions kit, you earn an extra $100, okay? Um, build residual income over time, power of three, team bonus, paid monthly based on structure. Each team needs 600 TV team volume to receive this sponsored bonus. The easiest way and the way that we were taught by Elise Sedevi is your top three people and you are all at 150 LRP and then that will kind of lock it in, okay? When you and your top three people are at 150 LRP at 600 points, you're gonna earn an extra $50, okay? When that's duplicated down again, your first levels are earning their 50 points, okay? And then, you are earning to have that second level all done an extra 250 points okay when it gets duplicated down again it's like another 1500 total bonus of power of three okay this is really awesome to know and understand for people who are just um building or sharing sorry sharing because maybe they don't want to build a whole organization again we talked about that not everybody wants to but if we can help them earn $50 to get their product at a discount, or maybe they're making $100, you know, with the unit level and the power of three, they're getting their product free. One, they're, they're always gonna be on LRP because they're getting it for free, right? And also, that's free healthcare for them, okay? So if, if our goal is to always get people getting their product for free, that will um, always work out, right? It's not, it's not always easy to get power of three. I feel like you really do have to be mindful and intentional and um, just be aware of where you're putting your people, okay? So if somebody's goal is just to get power of three, if they're just a share, they're, you're gonna wanna place, your, or have them place three people on their front line to get that if they're ordering 150 LRP every month so they can get their um, power of three, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> uh, I just heard someone come, come to my door. Oh, that's it, that's the last thing. Okay, then change your future. Uh, the, next, the next week, so next week, on um, Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern, we're gonna go over the build guide, where we're gonna talk more about building a business versus sharing the business, and then launching. And then, like I said, in the last week, I added a bonus, and that's gonna be all social media. Woo, you guys, I did it. <laughs> I was trying to talk fast and go over things. I probably could have given a few more details, but I feel like you guys got a really good gist of it. Um, this training is for um, for anybody, obviously, but I would say it's geared toward a new person. So feel free to share this video and this launch camp series with your new um, advocates to help them to get. Um, their business up and rolling. That's what I love about this business is that you don't have to know everything when you first get started. We have all of the resources between our team and doTERRA. It has everything that you need, honestly. Honestly, you guys, I love, love, love it. And I wasn't even doing my own training for my team until I was um, probably platinum. I wasn't really, let's see, I'm trying to think. I don't even know. I spent all my time on recruiting, basically. I think I did maybe when I was platinum, I started my own training. So don't feel like you have to recreate the wheel. I'm making this for you and for your team, okay? And I'm storing everything in our Facebook group, Oil Leadership Team page, and um, I'm putting things on YouTube and my blog because I also like helping all of doTERRA because I feel like, again, the more you give, the more you get, and I just wanna help as many people as possible. So. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you guys next week. All right, bye.